Is this thing on? Yes, it is. What's up, guys? It's Rasim from Rossmart Tech. Let me get in frame. There we go. What's up, guys? It's Rasim from RossmartTech.com, and I'm doing a vlog style video. If you guys haven't noticed, this is my workstation here. This is my room. I'm twirling. Whoop! Get in focus. Get in frame. I'm twirling in my chair right now. I'm getting dizzy, and I'm probably gonna puke. But this is my home office right here, and I've been uh, working in this office or studio for like two years now since I moved into this building. But yeah, I, I spend a lot of time here, if you guys don't already know. I, I work a full-time job, but I also spend a lot of time in this room uh, making uh, videos that you guys like, hopefully you guys like. But um, I'm gonna do more of these vlog style videos where I show you guys more of the behind the scenes of what, I've, what I'm working on and what will, uh, will go up on my channel. So if you guys like this video, please give me a like and I'll know you guys like this video and I'll do more of these type of videos. But uh, I have a lot of things that I have been working on and one of the projects that I've been working on for like a year, I haven't worked on it for a year, but I started it about a year ago and I finally finished it yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Um, I'm happy. And it involves Raspberry Pi 3, Res Raspberry Pi 3 and my Robo, let me just turn this around, my Robo 3D R1. I printed the enclosure using this 3D printer. Now, I had this printer for like a year. I love this printer. It, wa it wasn't working for a while and it was out of commission, but I finally fixed it like maybe two or three weeks ago. And I, and I love it and I've been printing ever since. But uh, if you guys want a 3D printer, the Robo 3D R1 is really inexpensive. It's only like $800 compared to like the two, two grand per or three grand that the other printers cost. I highly recommend it. Let's get back. Okay, we're in focus, yes. Is my hair good? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, let's get back to the original spot. But I will love to do more. Of, but I will love to do more of these vlog style videos. I haven't had my coffee. Let me get a sip. Hold on. Yeah, I will, I will love to do more of these vlog style videos because they're a lot easier than my normal like five minute video that takes like 20 hours to freaking shoot and edit. So this is all one cut, no jump cuts at all. And it'll be a lot easier, a lot easier to upload because I, I, all I do is press record. And when I'm finished, I just click on the red button again and upload it to YouTube. No jump cuts, no editing, raw vlog goodness. But if you guys like these videos, you like would like me to do more of these type of videos, give me a like. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I've been working on. Let me just turn this around. Voila. This is my portable Raspberry Pi 3. Yes, my portable Raspberry Pi 3. You guys have probably seen this in Adafruit's website. Uh, go check out Adafruit. You know, it, it's an awesome site. They have a lot of cool projects that, that you can uh, check, check check up on and start uh, start yourself and buy all the parts. The, they sell parts, they create parts. They're awesome. But yeah, I started this like a year ago and uh, I haven't finished it, but I finally finished it. I printed this, hopefully this is a frame. I printed this 3D case like um, a couple days ago. It took like maybe two hours to print the case. I got all the parts from Adafruit's website. But again, this is a sneak preview. I shot, I, 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 um, I have all the video of me uh, putting this together, building the 3D case, uh, putting together all the parts, all the, all the soldering. I will be, uh, Make creating a formal video where I show you guys how to how to build this. Look look for that video maybe in like two days. But let me just turn this on so you guys can see how this works. This again, this is a sneak peek. There will be another video uh, going over over step by step how to build this and how I, I put it together. Maybe like in two days. It's gonna take a long time to edit. But I turned it on as you can see. Hopefully you guys can see this because I can't see what you see right now because the phone is flipped around. But uh, it's turning on right now and. Um, and it turned on pretty fast, pretty fast because I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 and it, it, it responds to my finger or my hand gestures and whatever. So you know it works. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys, you're excited uh, to, uh, to see that video because it's going to take like freaking a whole day just to edit or more. Because I got a lot, a lot of cutscenes, a lot of soldering. It's just a lot. You'll, you'll see. But... That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like so I know to do more of these type of videos. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Why not? It won't hurt you guys. 
But that's it. I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com, and peace. I'll see you guys later. Bye.